Psychic America, this is Tracy Brown coming to you today, August 13th, um, 2013. Um, uh, hopefully, I can get through all the readings that I promised to get through, but we're going to start with Leanne Rhymes. Um, and the question is Leanne Rhymes is doing her reality show, six episodes on VH1. Good for you, VH1. Um, but I expect nothing more from VH1, you know. These are the type of, type of shows that VH1 likes to do. Controversial people, blah, blah, blah. Or they create controversial people, you know. It is what it is. Um, I guess nobody else would take her is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so VH1 took her on and, by the way, only did six episodes. So I'm proud of you, VH1, for knowing that you should only take on six episodes. Thank you. Uh, but in the same token, uh, throw up. So I hope the world doesn't turn away from you, VH1. <laughs> it's a train wreck. Um, Leanne, it's just a train wreck. But you already know that, <laughs> VH1 execs. Um, that's why you, one, took her on. Hoping that the train wreck winds up being like so fantastic that you'll give her 36 more episodes. <laughs> and two, um, you already know it and that's why you only gave her six episodes. <laughs> so, is this reality show going to be successful? That's what we're going to check today. Mm, I'm hungry. I didn't eat today. That's not good. Oh, there you go. Um, so, let's look at all the cards. Solitude, Memories of Love. Oh, that's a good card. Solitude, Memories of Love. Um, new Beginnings, New Beginnings, New Beginnings, Game Changer. Clearing Away Obstacles, huh. Beyond the Veil of Illusion. Ironically, that card comes up twice. Um, Movement, real of life, path of least resistance, and self-examination, distortion. Oh, dear. So, what I'm getting right now is that, let's remember that Leanne is a little delusional. Let's remember that. She, you know, she's not packing, you know, all the proper cells in her brain to work with. So, there's a little bit of pity that you kind of have to have for her, to be honest with you. Um, however, it, it's... Disturb, you guys already know this. It's disturbing her that she doesn't get the love that she used to get. Like, she actually doesn't, in a weird kind of way, she doesn't get it. You know what? I have to tell you, you know what I hear her saying? People cheat all the time. That's what I hear her saying. Which is why no one can get through to her thick head. Like, she's not getting it. Um, she doesn't like being on the outside looking in. I feel like even her country people um, aren't like communicating with her you know she's not the darling anymore but you know you don't need to be the darling but she's nothing now a lot of solitude um memories of love means that she wants what she used to have and if she can't get it one way then that's the reason for doing a reality show um and this is what she's hoping for not necessarily what the cause of telling me is going to happen it's what she's hoping for She's hoping for a new beginning. She's hoping to start over. She's hoping to show people, you know, that I'm real and I made mistakes and, you know, kind of like forgive me. Um, in the same token, she's looking to clear obstacles. Um, uh, this show, I don't know how VH1 is planning on producing it. However, at first she was going to have a scripted show based upon her life. That way she could design it. Um, and then people would see it as reality. It's a weird kind of thing. But she's actually very smart. Um, that didn't work out. So now she's has a reality show. But if there's any executive producing or any editing credits, um, you're not going to see the truth in the six episodes that they're offering. You're just not going to see the truth. Um, with that being said, there's a little bit of game being played here by VH1. Uh, let me see. I feel like the first couple of episodes are going to be happy-go-lucky, celebrating, blah, blah, blah. Um, call me 
crazy, but I, I kind of feel like they're starting having, they started having some financial issues, by the way. Call me crazy, but I, I just think that they're getting to the point where they need to be smart about, you know, how they spend their money. And that actually may come across um, in, a, in the reality show. It actually, like, what you expect to come across, like her pretending to be such a great mom, um, you may not see that like you hope, America hopes, but you could see some, you know, bleeding, bleeding of their finances and the kind of mentioning of it. And any subtle references is actually bigger than you realize. So remember that as you, as you watch the show. But you know what? Don't watch the show. <laughs> Don't give it to her. Don't watch the damn show. Um, she's definitely hoping for victory. She's hoping for victory. Hmm. It's a game changer. That's for sure. This um, show changes everything. Changes the game. Um, I'm telling you. I honestly believe that there are some financial issues. That's going to get revealed. And I feel like it's... I feel like it's... Oh, Jesus Christ. Listen. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like it's trickery. I feel like they might be telling Leanne what she wants to hear. And then they're going to put out what they want to put out. I, I, I understand from the reading that she may have some editing control. And then ultimately, I don't know if it's going to be a loophole or they're going to convince her... Well, if we don't put it in, you know, this is when the ratings went up. And when we, you know, if we don't put this in, then we can't get the ratings. And you know how much you want the ratings. Like, they're going to sell her um, when actually it's going to be trickery. <laughs> um, because, because of the ratings. Um, and money is a problem with them. I don't know if she spends too much or if she's so inconsiderate with the money that they have. She's going to try really, really hard to stay in control. Really. I also think she's going to bring her dad back in the picture to show support and love for him. Um, I'm not getting that she actually, you know, loves her dad, to be honest with you. It's going to be part of the show. She just misses the world loving her. That's what this truly is about. She just wants to recapture that. Um, I, I'm looking to see if it's going to fail. After the six episodes, is it going to fail? After the six episodes, I think they're going to give her six more episodes, to be honest with you. Um, because all doesn't get revealed. Like, what you see is just like a teaser, but there's more to come, so all doesn't get revealed. I think that you see more truth in the next set of six episodes. That's the way I'm getting it. Um, it's a slow and steady, so it's a little calculated, it's a slow and steady, it's not what you expect at all. Um, the other thing I'm going to check into is how much does Eddie know of Leanne's antics? Um, I feel like he sits back and is totally oblivious to it, but um, it's just such a shame that he just doesn't say to her, cut the crap, like... It's, it's so not a real man that lets another woman puts down, you know, his ex. Um, so I'm going to check into that real quick. You know, I'm getting that Eddie's very, very sneaky. He's very sneaky. He actually um, allows Leanne to do what she does. Um, and play her games because he's kind of mad at Brandy. That's what I'm getting. He's he's mad at Brandy. It's a passive aggressive kind of thing. Um, in a weird kind of way, the only way to get back to Brandy is to somehow put the kids in the middle. And I'm not saying that he does it that way. I'm saying that he does it two different things. And so if Brandy doesn't want to see it for herself, I don't care. He does use the children. He does allow Leanne to step in front of all of this, he knows how to get under Brandy's skin and then sit back and go, oh, I, I had no idea. Um, he does lay down, but he knows. 
this card tells me something good comes out of a bad situation, and he knows. So when when uh, Leanne screws it up, he swoops in and he cleans it up. So not cool. Um, this card tells me that he's sneaky, um, and that he's sneaky throughout. Like he's not. He was a sneaky first husband. He's a sneaky second husband. He's sneaky with the kids. Sorry, Brandy. I know that's hard for you to hear right now, but you know your ex is not the best in terms of how he pits the kids against you. And if you can't see it now, Brandy, it's going to get much worse. There's something coming with one of your children that you know Eddie is knee deep in this, and yet he's going to turn around and say, "I." This is ridiculous. I had no idea. And most likely it'll come out during a reality show, by the way. Does he love his kids? Absolutely. Does he love money? Absolutely. And does he love being a star? Absolutely. Um, you know, he just, he kind of does it this way because it gives him a position of advantage. You know, and is he going to change? Nope. It's not. He's comfortable with it. Um, so that's it. I hope I answered your question. Um, and I know everybody may not be too, too happy with it. I kind of see the six episodes kind of just mediocre, but um, touching on some money issues. Um, I think the producers see the potential for more, and I think they do, you know, give her six more episodes. When they give her six more episodes, that's when you're going to see real drama unfolding because they're just touching the ice, iceberg, and they're, um, they're being really cookie-cutter during the first six episodes. But the producers are really, really smart. So as they're being cookie cutter, things are going to seep in. And then that's the angle that they're going to take for the next six episodes. Um, I see her in tears in the next ep uh, next series of episodes. In tears. Um, emotional breakdown. Um, some self-examination, which means she also may have to go to, um, or at, at least admit that she's going to have to go to counseling. But none of that gets revealed in the first six episodes. So it's the first... Ex Six episodes going to be successful? I have to say yes. Um, I do think that she's going to get picked up. When she gets picked up, that's when um, insidious, insidious truths get the insidious truths come out in the first episode. Um, it gets blown up uh, and clarified in the second episode. Also, does Eddie allow Leanne's antics against Brandy? The answer is yes. Um, he's aware of everything. And he allows it because he himself is mad at Brandy. So it is his way of getting back at Brandy without him being a bad guy. And then he comes out to be the good guy in the end when he's pulling the two women apart because they're pulling at each other's hair. All right, guys. Um, August 13, 2013. Thank you for checking in. This one is on Leanne Rhymes. Will her show be successful? Technically, yes. Another six episodes. Then we'll see the drama. All right, guys. Take it easy. Bye.